everyone and welcome to our Heavenly Parents Holy Community Oceania Hundoke, today being Anshil and to, we're together with Reverend Kenji Watanabe, today being Saturday the 25th of September or the 19th of August in the ninth year of Chongu. So let's begin by offering a bow to our Heavenly Parents and True Parents. Chariot. Dumbe. And let's recite our family pledge, both in Korean and English. Thank you. Kajon Mense E. Tony Cook Twin, Uri Kajogun, Cham Saran Will Tunsimago, Hanil Pumonim Gua, Cham Pumonim Mosio, Tonju Taper Tok Kajon Itemio, Tunsim Tok Kajon Iteo, Kajon Esnin Hyoja, Kuka Esnin Tunsin. 세계에서는 성인, 천주에서는 선자의 가정의 도리를 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. Family pledge number two. Our family, the owner of Chongoguk, pledges to represent and become central to heaven and earth by attending the heavenly parent and true parents. We pledge to perfect the dutiful family way of filial sons and daughters in our family, patriots in our nation, saints in the world, and divine sons and daughters in heaven and on earth by centering on true love. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to ask uh, Nara in New Zealand if she could offer the opening prayer, please. Thank you. Let um, bow and pray. Our beloved heavenly parents, true parents, and beloved Jesus, we are so grateful for each new day and today. Uh, with spring coming and then summer. Father, we'd like to offer this time to open up our hearts and our minds to receive your love today, new inspiration, and to find the uh, oneness in, among us uh, in one heart as brothers and sisters and to Find a way forward for us, Father, to bring victory for you and for heaven with our true mother. Heavenly Father, we'd like to know more how we can reach out to the ministers, Father. Uh, give us wisdom and um, insights of how we can bring this about. Thank you for our elder, for our um, brother, Reverend Yamada, who is giving so much of his uh, heart investing so much try, um, to connect to our true mother and for Reverend John Adamese um, um, leading our Hundok K for Oceania. We pray for all the national leaders in each island, Father, in our region as well, to really um, find that um, unity, Father, with, with everyone. Uh, once again, I invite you, Father and uh, into our midst today uh, to hear your message. Uh, with all my heart, I offer this prayer in true parents and bless central families. Uh, Julie. Thank you. Thank you. And let's uh, give a great warm welcome to Reverend Kenji Watanabe as he shares with us this morning. Good morning, uh, brothers and sisters, and uh, uh, um, uh, Reverend Yutaka, the uh, director of the Oceania uh, region, and uh, all the staff, brothers and sisters, good morning to you. Today is Anshio, and uh, wow, I really feel that the time flies uh, since the uh, many events are coming up, and uh, we are supposed to take uh, our ownership uh, especially uh, PCLC is the um, uh, 
big thanks for us. And uh, yeah, uh, everybody uh, is working very hard, as I know. And uh, um, yeah, today um, I'd like to share uh, Father's prayer when he offered at the time of the ceremony of the uh, uh, liberation of the uh, spirit. Uh, so anyway, um, let me share the screen. Uh, Fundo greeting is coming from the Father's Prayer um, Ceremony for the Total Liberation of the People in the Spirit World. Uh, past couple of days, um, yeah, Reverend Yutaka shared the um, contents of the True Mother's memoir, uh, in particular regarding the um, uh, South American Providence and uh, the video that uh, we watched um, uh, really inspired, and uh, and also uh, uh, yeah, I was really uh, interested in the uh, hearing the testimony from the our uh, beloved brothers and sisters who um, participated in the Jordan uh, family workshop, which I missed, and. Um, National Messiah uh, from Japan uh, shed their blood, uh, not blood, but the sweat and tears. Uh, all the sacrifice uh, really um, penetrate uh, the, into the, my heart. And uh, uh, that's why I picked up this uh, um, contents. And uh, after reading, I'd like to share um, um, personal uh, the experience with the uh, members who sacrifice, uh, sacrificed and even sacrificed today, uh, joyfully. So let's start. It was given uh, 5th of October, 1998, Sao Paulo, Brazil. Beloved Heavenly Father, today is October 5th, 1998, which is also uh, Chuseok in Korea a day of celebration on which the people honor their ancestors. You have worked endlessly to establish the realm of liberation for the old, new, and complete testament ages in history to ease your grief over not having seen this world become a settlement of love in which all homes of creation, all the people in the spirit world, countless believers, and all things created with love and living on earth would have lived together with you. Today, before having heaven and earth, champion in Korea and the people gathered here in Sao Paulo in the Western world, please bring to an end the sorrowful history that you have had to endure. So we understand that you as the vertical true parent of heaven created the horizontal true parents in this world through the idea of heaven and earth that they represented your external home and that they should have become our ancestors of the very first generation. They were meant to achieve complete oneness through their family, thereby unifying their minds which are vertical and their bodies, which are horizontal, and thus bring the seed of love created through that unity to complete fruition on earth. Through this achievement, you, your eternal lineage and that of true parents were to be connected and would have led to the multiplication on earth of children whose minds and bodies would have been as one. However, the joyous day of such a beginning of history did not come to pass, and you have had to continue with the providence 
in order to erase the legacy of the uh, lamentable and uh, mortifying historical grief. So we are aware of all this. No one until now had any inkling of the anguish you harbored in your heart. And as you haven't had a single son or daughter on earth who could be devoted to you, you have been a lonely and a miserable father. Looking into your heart, I know how you endeavor to save your only son who came after countless generations. This son of yours perceived more clearly than anyone how much you grieved as you looked upon wretched humanity, dispossessed of any ancestors because they were lost through the fall. From the day I came to know you, I also came to realize that the path you have followed for the sake of your immature children has been one of the odios in the suffering. You have walked ceaselessly in order to welcome the day of the blessing of the true parents centered on the foundation which was laid through the toils of Christianity during thousands of years of history. <clears throat> you labored so that the past could be evened out and you could restore the unity of Adam and Eve, which had failed to emerge with your true love. In order to bequeath the victorious lineage of Adam's original family, which was lost in the Garden of Eden. Ashamed of becoming a child with the unfulfilled responsibility, I searched endlessly for a way to avoid this failure. And I came to pioneer the way I should walk in the following your path, building bridges and uh, climbing mountains, passing through the eight stages vertically and horizontally, and uh, finally proclaiming the fulfillment of those eight stages and uh, proclaiming the true parents. As a result of this, I declared Chiruparjo, day of the cosmic Saba, for the parents of heaven and earth, and at the same time, on the foundation of Jardin, I disclosed that your idea of creation and the original standard that you had first established was that of absolute faith, love, and obedience. <clears throat> also, in order to make your wish come true, that is, to establish absolute, unique, unchanging, and eternal family foundation, which reflect your characteristics and a foundation wherein love can dwell, then what must be achieved are absolute, unique, unchanging, and eternal parents who are also true parents as well as absolute, unique, unchanging, and eternal children, couples and families. Though the world may not be aware of it, this son understands that the day upon which this is brought to pass will be the day you have long awaited and will be the greatest transition point of history. Yet despite the fact that the coming of this day should be the subject of worldwide rejoicing and celebration. I am forced to make this proclamation within the confines of Jardin. <clears throat> Through this third Jardin declaration, you could be connected to the first, second, and the third creators and to the tribal foundation. On this horizontal foundation and on the basis for your light of kingship on earth and in heaven, the authority of the third creator was proclaimed on earth. By passing through this liberating process, which can, cannot be interfered with by even God or Satan, the eternal, unchanging, and uh, predestined relationships between parents and children, husband and wives, 
and brothers and sisters, which had remained until this time unfulfilled, were all resolved. <clears throat> now, through the Sisajo 4 4 day declaration, which represents the number four, the southern hemisphere can be connected to that northern hemisphere and the heart of the parents to the oceans. Also, the great judgment of Noah's time took place on the sea, based on the sea that did not face judgment and the principle of giving and receiving by all created beings. Then, all national messiahs and blessed families were called to gather here in Jardim in order to symbolize the coming together of all creation to the place of liberation. I am grateful to you for letting us march forward as the blessed members of the unificationist community, whose mission now is that of unifying the separated spiritual and physical world, transcending the East-West cultural divide, as well as the North-South economic divide, and establishing a peaceful heaven and earth and a humanity with the heart of children who serve the parents of your unified kingdom. So I have disclosed to all those who are here that in the form of the global Miss Messiah, national messiahs, tribal and family messiahs, they should return following the parents. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for guiding us as a true parents in creating the past that could form an easy passage free of any obstacles through the transfer of the victories achieved on every side. Thank you for allowing the blessed families the free environment where they can seek the path to the homeland based on parents, children, couples, siblings, and families, which exhibit the four great attributes of the absoluteness, uniqueness, immute, uh, Im uh, mutability and uh, eternality. This can be achieved by virtue of the practice of absolute faith, love, and obedience. We know that it is a task given to us as your blessed sons and daughters and all those who are heading to the blessed place to take the lead in restoring your lost kingdom on peace even if it means selling every asset and the property we possess. It is our responsibility to strive for the nation with all our family as the offering, and then for heaven and earth with the nation as the offering, and finally towards you with heaven and earth as the offering. This son is aware of the fact that the historic starting point of establishing your kingdom on earth and the eternal revelation that can possesses the substantial sovereignty of love of the eternal realm of revelation already took place on June 13th. On that day, the simultaneous blessing of saints and the murderers as siblings overcame the weeping and the sorrowful mind of the true parents and even now joyful cries of revelation are echoing in the spirit world all the people on earth are ignorant of this all our ancestors in the spirit world the angelic world and the countless believers are all aware of this and are laboring hard to pioneer the environment for the true parents on us. The foreign angel became the um, arch enemy that destroyed your family of love. He initiated all forms of sovereignty on us by leaving behind the family of the realm of the foreign arch angel. However, the spirit spiritual and physical world came together through a relationship of united siblings 
in order to embrace parental love and your love. They were given the order to advance and were able to reclaim the light of the eldest son. Now the time has come for the final transition to take place based on the five great saints blessed on June 13th and their blessed followers in the spirit world, members of the groups they have established. Those serving you and uh, true parents on earth and in the spirit world will now have to follow the way of filial piety, loyalty, and heavenly traditions. That is, the archangelic families on earth should come together and join the liberated realm of the blessed families in the position of perfected Adamic families on earth. They should strive to fulfill their duties before you as filial sons and daughters in the family, patriots in the nation, and the saints in the world, and uh, inherit the bond of love while tending to the duties of the, your divine sons and daughters on earth and in the spirit world. To do so, they should become as one with you in heaven and with true parents on earth. Through this, they will be empowered to fulfill this. You long cherished desire, so please, Please liberate the followers of the saints and the ancestors who are the offering of the first ancestors, Adam and Eve, based on the kinship in the realm of love, united with the perfected heaven you originally intended. And by serving the true parents on earth, all those who could not serve them until this time can arrive at the destination founded on the family. This family is a result of the vertical and horizontal love coming together, the original idea of creation. It springs from the bond of siblings and of the parents and children as formed between ancestors, both on us and in the spirit world. This is a day of proclaiming that both physical and spiritual world can now be connected eternally on the foundation of the cosmic family centering on the true parents and that through the liberation of both worlds, all families can freely travel in all directions in the name of true parents. The era has now arrived in which we can publicly carry out activities after we have brought all those in both worlds together and established a foundation on us, then together with all created beings. So we can march forward in full force for the victory of the eternal sovereignty of your love, the establishment of your kingdom on earth and in heaven, which is founded on true love and the realm of heart of your true lineage and that of true parents. All this I declare in the name of the true parents. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you very much for uh, kind attention. Yeah, um, I just uh, yeah, kept reading uh, as uh, this is a true father's prayer and uh, uh, I, I didn't want to the, uh, um, put anything between. And now I would like to share a uh, little bit. Um, anyway, um, <clears throat> South, American Providence, um, as far as I uh, remember, started from 1990, early 1990s and uh, started the, um, uh, in a bigger scale from 1995, something like that. And um, many uh, members, families were mobilized to, to be there. And uh, at the time, I was the yeah um, the UTS student, and um, um, actually uh, my um, study friends um, 
school friends who graduated uh, from the UTS one year uh, earlier. So all the uh, mobilized to go to um, um, <clears throat> to um, uh, Brazil uh, Jardin area. Uh, through Father um, appointed the uh, 33 uh, missionaries among the uh, Armenian uh, graduate from the UTS 1996. And uh, um, I think uh, two thirds of the graduate was, uh, more than two thirds of the uh, graduates are Japanese. Um, most of them are actually uh, university graduate. As they are the one who um, respond to father's call. All the university graduate need to go to uh, UTS. And uh, people who really willing to um, serve and uh, respond to, uh, wanted to respond to father uh, went to the UTS. Most of them are yeah, uh, very young, uh, including myself. <laughs> um, and um, at the time, uh, also, uh, National Messiah Movement uh, started and uh, we've had at uh, our uh, elders, uh, yeah, as we saw uh, the, some uh, members in the uh, video clip. And uh, some of them are still working there, amazing. Uh, so anyway, when we look at uh, yeah yeah uh, elder members um, without saying much, really uh, sacrificing them themselves to to recreate the uh, original Garden of Eden. So so we we were so moved. But uh, uh, at the time when I was a uh, yeah, student, I was not really uh, ready, uh, perhaps. That's why uh, I was not called to go to the South America. Uh, if the, I graduated in 1996, uh, I'm not here. Um, I'm gonna be part of the, um, uh, the missionaries. And the uh, uh, photo that I show here is the, um, um, my uh, friends who uh, still live in the um, Brazil, Jardin, and um, photo uh, on the left is a photo um, taken with the um, uh, current president of the um, um, FWPU Brazil, um, still uh, Reverend Sasaki, and uh, the person who next to, to me, uh, the gentleman, is the uh, uh, Liberant Matsunaga. He and his wife was the uh, UTS student. And uh, um, I think uh, during the student time, uh, the school time, they got matched. Uh, they never expected to be matched, but uh, yeah, surprisingly, they got matched uh, schoolmate, <laughs> schoolmate. And then both of them were uh, uh, appointed to go to the Brazil and uh, uh, pioneered. And uh, uh, now how many years ago? Five or six years ago? Uh, no, uh, much longer than that. Um, wife. His wife, uh, when she was uh, giving birth the uh, fourth children or fifth children, because of the complication and uh, due to um, um, kind of lack of the uh, infrastructure, she uh, lost her life. And uh, yeah, my friend, uh, Reverend Masnaga became the um, um, widower and uh, but uh, he 
he determined to stay there with the, uh, his children, continuously serving community and uh, built the um, uh, uh, church, uh, churches. Still, uh, his work, uh, not the uh, uh, acknowledged uh, in our community, but uh, anyway, his uh, sacrifice and dedication uh, really um, uh, penetrate the, um, her, his sacrifice into my heart. And uh, uh, whenever we meet in the uh, champion, just uh, uh, sh shedding tears and uh, uh, embrace each other, uh, <clears throat> holding. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, so they are still uh, living in Brazil. I think uh, their children uh, uh, speak the only uh, the Portuguese, I think. <laughs> so they are permanent citizens of the Chongiruguk in uh, Brazil area, I think. And uh, other significant the, um, um, uh, friends of mine is that uh, Mr. Uh, Reverend uh, Moribe Couples, who um, took the photo with two parents, uh, photo on the light side, uh, on light, top right. Actually, his uh, wife is the uh, prof, uh, medic, uh, the medical doctor as a profession. And uh, since the, he received a mission, he took the, uh, his wife to the um, um, rural area, uh, which was the assigned by the two parents and uh, pioneered. And um, they um, initiated the um, um, medical providence over there. And uh, they are the one who uh, uh, initiated the um, all sort of the medical uh, supplies uh, from the uh, Japan and uh, the photo on, on the bottom right is that uh, um, um, yeah, uh, two gentlemen who also graduated in uh, 1996, uh, the, uh, Ted and uh, uh, Reverend uh, uh, Hosoya, uh, one of the 6,000 couple. Um, they uh, took the photo in front of the signboard of the hospital. Uh, I believe that this uh, building has been materialized over there. Any, anyhow, um, missionaries um, assigned to the 33 uh, cities uh, in the um, Brazil near the uh, Geraldine area was the one who really uh, made the foundation of the uh, providence to start the uh, uh, new millennia. According to the true parents, um, the era after the coming of heaven was supposed to start from the 2001. And all preparations had been made by um, the national, national messiahs and uh, uh, missionaries. So in many cases, the uh, old Japanese uh, national messiahs, the uh, um, given the uh, spotlight, but uh, uh, behind the scene, uh, kind of our generation, uh, slightly younger than the national messiahs generation, also, uh, Serving, sacrificing, made a foundation uh, 30, 30, in the 33 cities. 33 resonate with the what Father uh, had done in, uh, in the 1998, as uh, Father said in prayer that um, 33 saints, uh, saints and sages, and also the uh, evil, evil people all liberated. And um, photo I put in here is the 
um, <clears throat> most crucial time that father and uh, um, boat captain with the uh, native uh, native people in the Jardin area. They are the one who um, liberated uh, true father at the time uh, liberated the um, evil doors and uh, auto sentence ages. Um, and then uh, prepare the open the gate for the new millennium. So anyway, all the historical fact and uh, involvement of the people who we know really uh, the uh, engraved the uh, um, heart of the uh, uh, fear of piety in my heart, and uh, really like to to um, to uh, do um, my best in this country, New Zealand and Oceania. And um, uh, in closing, yeah, um, I just uh, um, felt that at the time, um, through father, I should uh, the lot of lot of tears, especially when they he liberated the um, uh, evil doors, uh, evil of evils with the uh, true love, only because um, <clears throat> father um, they felt uh, touched the um, um, kind of hard strings of the um, um, heavenly parent. How do you say in English? I'm not sure. Kokoro no kinsen ni fureru. Same uh, the uh, uh, experience we each of us need. And anyway, I think the uh, uh, many brothers and sisters uh, must have uh, experienced. That's why surviving uh, survived until today. And uh, uh, no more uh, uh, suffering. Uh, Sacrifices for the uh, bright future, even in the original creation, sacrifices needed um, to bear fruit. So um, anyhow, anyhow, yeah, um, let's uh, work together as uh, big uh, the blessing gonna come uh, as we see through the uh, PCLC. Um, Anyway, thank you very much for your kind attention and uh, please have a wonderful uh, weekend and let's work together. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you very much, Reverend Kenji. Thank you for you know, helping us to uh, understand more deeply that, that time uh, and how precious Chardim was. Uh, Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, uh, when you were reading. Uh, I the, the, the couple of things uh, stood out to me. Uh, uh, I, I was reflecting on the statement that uh, where Father said, "The day I came to know you," and I, I you know, I was thinking, yeah, you know, the day uh, when I came to know God, I thought. Uh, the first thing that came to my mind when I, I realized was that uh, God was always there. When I first came to know God, I, I realized he was always there and I was never really alone, even you know, though I felt many times alone. But when I realized God was uh, there, the day I came to know God, I thought, wow, always there. And the love was always there. And it was, and, uh, uh, I felt uh, uh, sort of like uh, silly that I didn't realize that God was always there. And the, the other thing that uh, came to my mind was the statement where Father said that God, uh, the family reflects your characteristics. And I thought, wow, uh, again, you know, re highlighting uh, the, the uh, reality of God. You know, it, it's, just we I, we think of heavenly parents, you know the the union of 
you know, all that's masculine, all that's feminine. But then I you know, start to reflect that God is reflects the, all the characteristics of the family. That means that means God is you know, the heart of the child. Uh, otherwise, we wouldn't have the four great realms of heart. You know, that because you know, God it, uh, is a child, it did, it sort of made me uh, start to think. Well, there are certain times where where we have to embrace God as a child. And then, and then I you know, thought, because you know, the family reflects your characteristics. It might really, yeah, you know, that means the heart of the brother and sister is inside, yeah, you know, the God. Uh, and then husband and wife as as true lovers, yeah, you know, is there. So that God has this passion to embrace uh, His spouse, yeah, you know, and 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 then then yeah, you know, of course. Uh, uh, God is our parent and our our ultimate true parent, but uh, and but because God is the union and harmony of all of the aspects and characteristics, God God can express them all at the same time, and uh, that you know, just made me uh, realize how much uh, God invested Himself in everything, because everything has those characteristics. And they're all, they all culminate in the family. So God you know, is the family. Uh, and, uh, and that's why we can only enter heaven as a family. You know, we can't enter as husband and wife. You know, we have to enter as a family because God is the essence of the family. So, yeah, there were just some thoughts I was thinking when uh, Reverend Kenji was sharing with us. And uh, Jacinta has her hand up first. So... Go ahead, Jacinta. Yeah, um, I found that really um, that prayer of fathers was, I, I really couldn't understand it, to be honest. It was so um, talking about some kind of high spiritual realm or something. And uh, the question came to me about, does anyone know how to explain the difference between the liberation that Father's given to the whole world and the liberation that we have to also give to our ancestors? Well yeah, I just, does anyone know how to easily explain that? Or is it just like two up there in the clouds? <laughs> anyway, question. That, that, that's something for Reverend Yutaka to, I think, to explore and come back to us with. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, 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 Greg, uh, you've got your hand up. Go ahead. No, uh, yeah, unmute. Yeah, good morning. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Reverend Kenji, for your sermon. Uh, yeah, just a little personal um, testimony. I mean, and it's on, first of all, about relationship with father. Um, I Like pretty well all of us, I, I would think, I really began to love true father very much. And the first time I saw him was, I believe, 1975 in Camburg in Germany. But I had to pay some indemnity because we were all sat closely uh, down on the fo floor cross-legged on the floor, but there was a brother in front of me and he was moving around and he, he moved suddenly and his elbow went in my eye. So suddenly I had this black eye. And also father <laughs> spoke for, for a long time, for many, many hours. And then I needed to go to the bathroom, but I was in the middle of the, the, the hall. So I couldn't get up and walk over everyone to get, get out and go to the bathroom. So I was total agony the first time I really saw father. and. Um, but still, my love for him was great. And then Hyojin Janim was there as well. And we all went to bed late, about midnight. But around about 2 o'clock, he got everyone up again. And he was so angry with us because we hadn't prepared the, the whole environment properly. So he was chastising everyone. And I, I could really feel Hyojinim's heart. And now fast forward to 19, uh, 1999, I think December, I was in Jardim with Eliza and my family, and uh, also Reverend John, you were there, I believe, at that time, the same time, 
And I remember one time coming to you, Reverend John, and I was asked ask your advice about something because you seemed so stable and so kind of wise. And I was wondering about some situation, which I forget now, but the one experience I had with, especially with Father again in, uh, in Jardim, and this was a time also when Young Jin was killed when he fell from the balcony and people weren't sure how it happened, but we, we heard rumors that maybe the mafia or something, and, but he fell down in the angels. He didn't break any bones, but he, he died. So we didn't know, but two parents came for the photograph that uh, we heard about, the Reverend Yutaka mentioned to have this photograph for our family. And while father was moving up and down the aisles and he was talking, and he was very serious because of this, this, this very sadness, this death of uh, young Jin. And when he passed us, he gave me a look and he also a Lisa look. And then suddenly this message came in my head and there's three times that I've seen father and that suddenly this message has come to me. And that they're very usually very personal, so I can't even hardly share with with any of you because they're kind of very either embarrassing or judgmental or at least giving me strong advice. So this time he was passing us, and I, I and he gave me advice: be careful about this situation. And um, I was I was so moved. And the same happened again when I went when I was chosen for the UTS because. Um, he called, I was on the team, and again, uh, later on, John and Elisa, Reverend John and Elisa were on the same, same team, but we're on Brunhilde's team. And I was asked to go as a candidate to be chosen for the UTS Providence. And uh, we went to East Garden, or, I believe, and Father was talking about Ocean Challenge, etc. But at that time, also, he we all came in the room and he started to sing. And then we, I started to bang on the table to really encourage father to sing. And I felt so connected that I could encourage father or support father as he was singing. After that, he started to choose people to go to the UTS. And suddenly my whole ancestry said, he's gonna choose you. And I, I felt this push to go towards him. And then he came and he looked at me and then he came towards me and he tapped me on the shoulder to be chosen to go to UTS. And then he said something to David Kim, the president of UTS. And uh, again, translated, it was again, kind of very strong advice for me. Uh, again, it's very hard to share these things unless I, I see you personally, I can tell you. But um, So these different type of experiences. Um, and the, the other one was also in 2005, I believe here in Sydney, when father came to the uh, hotel on the park and I was sat next to Reverend Tanaka <clears throat> and father, we were sitting, sitting in the ante room after this long speech from father and father was looking around and I was right in the front row actually. And suddenly tears started to come in my eyes and then I could see that father was kind of surprised because he was just talking general things or looking around. And I think Rick was playing guitar as well at one point. And, uh, Suddenly, again, the voice came strongly from the spirit, from Father. Ah, oh, you can't do, you have to do this, you know. So again, I got this advice, was again, hard to share with you at the moment, but I was, this relationship with Father was so precious, all these experiences I, I had with him. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to share that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Greg. Thank you. Uh, yes, Doug, go ahead. Put your hand up. Okay. Uh, Mary and I were at the, um, the blessing of June 13th, 1998, uh, Saints and Sinners. And uh, we had some guests. And one of them was a very spiritual uh, person, really good quality and so forth. And we were really nervous um, that he was going to see something that might be too uh, hard for him to understand. So I was really trying to prepare him to understand that um, saints such as Buddha and Confucius and so forth were, were going to receive the, um, the blessing today. <laughs> and uh, it, was, it was kind of like, that was the foremost uh, thought of my mind, you know, that he be prepared to understand how big this ceremony was. And then um, before the ceremony, Reverend Kwok came out and he explained that father had called him at 2 a.m. in the morning that day. 
and explain that there will be some additional uh, people attending this ceremony. And it will be uh, Mussolini, Hitler, and uh, Tojo, and uh, Stalin. And <laughs> the shock was so interesting. You know, I mean, uh, it was just, remember that moment? Yeah. Um, so I can never forget um, the blessing of saints and sinners um, and how it actually unfolded. And, you know, I, I, I cannot remember the room that it took place in. All I can remember is the people uh, and, and Reverend Kwok um, announcing that from the stage. Um, I, I, I don't know if it was in Madison Square Garden or in a small room uh, in the Manhattan Center. It was probably a large, large stadium. I was just so focused on the people. And it was just something that I could never, ever forget. But I felt so happy to see it happen. Um, you know, we talk about God loving all mankind. And, you know, we've suffered through people saying, oh, this one's going to hell and this one's going to hell. And we say it so lightly and tritely, you know. But to hear that this action of forgiveness, you know, is taking place for the people who are born on such a foundation that they were almost propelled into insanity and become devils, you know. Um, uh, it's a fruit of history. It's not something from their own personal life. And it was so moving to, to hear that they were being embraced by heaven and being assigned Korean wives. Uh, it, it, the only father could even think of something, something like that. And it was just a miraculous thing to, to witness and to see, unforgettable. And um, that's all. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Doug. Yeah, I remember the time when I was so excited to see the wife of Socrates. Uh, I chased her down the street to introduce myself. I remember I was at this garden and she was just walking down, chased after us. Says, oh, yeah, and, she's, and I said, oh, um, I had three cancers. She goes, oh, really? <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, so uh, thank you, everyone. It's actually that time for us to come together and, and uh, uh, offer our unison prayer. So I'll just uh, uh, get ready and share the screen. Let's uh, pray together.
Add you, add you, add you. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. And uh, this evening we have the Unified Youth Service. Don't forget. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you. You are so deep testament today. So much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. God bless everyone. All the sacrifice, many stories. Thank you. Especially <clears throat> with us, say we can cry. Oh. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye, Kathy. Have a great day. You too. Bye.